Hey everyone, Morgan here with Real Camo Girl, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about competition shooting. When I was first interested in competition shooting, I had no idea how to go about it. And in fact, I felt like it was really, really difficult because there was just no information out there about how to get into competition shooting. So the very first thing that I did was I went to Google and I Googled San Antonio uh, shooting competitions. San Antonio is where I live. What you should do is go to Google and search whatever city shooting competitions. Most of the shooting competitions will come up on um, gun range websites. So you might go to the gun range and see, okay, well they have shooting competitions at this gun range. Okay, well who puts on these uh, competitions? Call the gun range and they will tell you who puts on these competitions. Then you're gonna contact that person and just talk to them about it. That's exactly what I did. I contacted the person who was in charge of uh, our local USPSA uh, shooting competitions and he told me all that I needed to know and the best advice that he gave me was do not go to watch go to shoot why was that the best advice because if I had gone to just watch it's so boring just watching you gotta get in there and shoot and yeah I came in last my very first shooting competition but every one that I've done after that I've gotten consistently better so don't worry about coming in last shooting competitions are all just about Fun, fun, fun. It's so, so much fun. And everybody at shooting competitions are so nice and helpful. If they see that you're struggling in any way, they're gonna jump in and help you. I guarantee it. So, don't be hesitant to go in there. I know it's kind of scary, but with your first shooting competition, just get in there. Don't watch. All rules and everything are gonna be explained to you, and if you don't know anything, speak up. That's probably the most important thing about this video. Speak up if you don't know how to do something or if you're confused about some rule or how to go about the stage, speak up. Don't get intimidated by the other shooters. There are gonna be some other shooters there who have way more experience than you do and who are so fast and you're just like, wow, I wanna be that fast. But take your time, slow it down, focus on your shots, and really, really pay attention to what you're doing. Because you can get disqualified pretty easily if you're especially being unsafe, like if you sweep your weapon behind you or something like that. Safety is so important in these shooting competitions because there are literally people right at your back the entire time that you're shooting. There's somebody who's doing the timer like, like right beside you, right behind you. So you wanna be extremely conscious, conscious of uh, the safety rules and make sure that you're abiding by them. Okay, so here are a couple quick things that you're gonna need before you start. You're going to need an extra magazine holster. You're going to need at least two extra magazines, including the one magazine that you already are gonna have inside. So total, you're gonna need three magazines and then one magazine holster. Some people have five or six that go like all the way back here, but you, to start out, you need two. Of course, you're gonna need your gun and you're going to need an outside the waistband holster. See, so you can easily pull. Even in IDPA, you can use an outside the waistband holster. You just need a shirt that covers the holster. That's the only difference with IDPA. But uh, when it comes to the outside the waistband holsters, anything will do, it doesn't have to be fancy, it just has to fit your gun and you have to easily be able to pull it. And of course, when it comes to the gun, you wanna make sure that you're using a gun that you're comfortable with. If you're not using a gun that you're comfortable with, if you're out there and you're shooting and a gun that you're unfamiliar with and you haven't trained with at all, it's gonna be a bad time. You wanna make sure that you're using a gun that you're comfortable with, that you've trained with, that you know inside and out and you know that and love this gun, okay? It doesn't have to be fancy. It could be a nine millimeter, 45. They even have 22 competitions. So just make sure that you're getting the right caliber as well. Another thing that I suggest is uh, some of these boxes. These are gonna be really nice because you can hold all of your ammunition inside. Of course, these are 45, this is a nine. This is just for example purposes. Uh, you can hold all of your ammunition inside. It's gonna be easy to pull and uh, it's really convenient. At competitions, you're usually uh, carrying about 100 to 200, sometimes 300 rounds of ammo, so you're gonna want those little boxes. The last thing that I recommend is the Mag Lula. This is a magazine loader, and this is probably the best thing that I have in my arsenal. Uh, basically, you use this, and you push down to load, to load ammunition in it. See, push, 
and then you load the ammunition. It is the best thing ever. <laughs> You're going to be loading your magazines many, 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 times during the competitions so you're going to want a magazine uh, loader such as the mag lula and that's it again just have fun get out there in your first uh, competition don't watch have fun get to know people it's such a great community and if you have any questions at all make sure you, uh, you contact me and remember visit us at realcamogirl.com come visit us at Facebook Twitter Instagram and more be sure to subscribe and like and comment I'll see you later bye